What is going on guys? My name is Doug and today I'm going to teach you about the marquee tool in Adobe Photoshop CS6. People have requested it so I'm just going to do a video for every tool in Photoshop on the left side of your Photoshop. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the shortcut key for the marquee tool is the letter M on your keyboard. So you click M and it highlights right over the marquee tool. Now if you click and hold it, uh, you're able to look at more than one option. You have the elliptical and single column uh, things that I will show you in a bit. Now the first thing I want to show you is if you click M and then you just select the first one that comes up on default. Uh, you go to the layer, so my layer right here is flavor here. Flavor here. And I'm just going to make a selection right there and what you can do with that is you can go over here to this move tool and you can just move it out of the picture. Now if you hit command um, Z to go back and then command D or control Z to go back or control D if you're on a PC it'll move it back and uh, deselect the selection. Now one of the things that I wanted to show you is that you can take this marquee tool and the first thing I'm going to do, do is uh, I'm going to make a selection and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to fill and then it's all set to color and hit OK. So with that I have a square that was filled in with red. Now I'm going to make that same square but the first thing I'm going to do before that is I'm going to go over here to feather and let's put in 80 or 80 not 801 and then I'm going to make another selection right underneath it of a square. And the first thing you see is that it goes around. Now we're going to right click inside of it, hit fill, same color settings, just hit OK. And as you can see, if you hit Command D or Control D, it uh, feathers it out and makes it blend in with the background. So that's a cool little trick that you can use with the marquee tool. Now one of the things that I use the marquee tool with is I like to center things using the marquee tool. Now I'll explain that right now. So let me get these off of the screen and deselect that. Now I made this shape of this X and I did that through uh, this custom shape thing right here if you want to get into that and you know there's a ton of options that you have but for me I've already put it on the screen so it's right here. Now what I use it for is to center things. Now I want to center this X and the first thing you can do is you can hit uh, command R which brings out this uh, the rulers and you know you can snap them to the middle and do it that way but uh, sometimes I just don't feel like doing that and if you're like me, then you'll do it this way. So the first thing you do is you go over here to the marquee tool. Let's say that I want to go all around this part right here, but actually the first thing you want to do is take away the feather because it will make that circle that we don't want. All right, and uh, we're going to click on this layer that I want to select or any layer that you want. And so I'm going to just do, this is the area that I want it to be centered in. And if you see the marching ants around it, now click on the X uh, shape. And all, all you have to do now is you go over here to the move tool and up here at the top left, you have these things right here. So this one is going to be horizontal center, and this one's vertical right here. So all I have to do is click on this one, which centers it down the middle for the horizon, and then this one right here, which is vertical. So that centered it right in the middle, and if you want proof that it is centered, you can go through and take these rulers, and it snaps right into the middle. Right into the middle. So you snap on. So right there is centered. Now another way, like, another reason why I would use it, like let's say I have to work over here, and I have to put it right here in the middle, but over on this side of the image, it's the same thing. You just click on V, make sure you're on the X layer, and then you come up here, and so it centers it to where these lines are from left to right, and right here. So now it's centered perfectly in between the square, and it's beautiful. Now, um, if you did click on M, and then there was another um, ellipse to elliptical tool, this is just a circle and it does the exact same thing as a square. You have the feather options and you can feather it out, make a selection, and then you can fill it in with stuff. And then the other ones would be single row, or single row, which would mean you just go like this and then you can fill that in or take a brush. Let's see, if, it, if I was on a different layer, let's make a new layer, a brush, and I can just brush right over this little selection. It's just a row and then deselect and then you can see part of, let's see, the row. So that's not that big of a deal. The, most of the things that uh, you will need in this tutorial is just the centering and the fact that you can feather it and make certain selections with it. So if you guys like this video, hit like. I'm going to have more videos to uh, show the rest of the tools in Photoshop, but I do have a playlist under, underneath in the description where you can learn a lot uh, with Photoshop CS6 and a lot of basic stuff so that you can learn and become better than what you are now because that's the goal. All right, my name is Doug, and thank you guys for watching.